Hi lovelies, my name is Bella, welcome back to my channel and I asked on my Instagram what's your guys' assumptions about me and I got some really crazy replies so let's just go through them what you guys think about me I'm going to react to that, I'm going to answer if that's true or not so without further ado, let's get started You like to do hard face laps and spit to face Um... Yeah, kinda. I mean, I have to get into the mood, but when I'm in the mood, I definitely do enjoy doing this. So yeah, this, this one is right. <laughs> you like to humiliate men. Absolutely. Yes, I love doing that. I believe that men deserve humiliation just for their existence. So yes, this one is correct. You look like a shy person. Do I? oh my god so i believe that i am shy at first but when i get like comfortable i get pretty um, you know like i get pretty comfortable and i can just express myself but yes in some there's some scenarios where i am really shy and it depends also on the people that i am with some people i'm always shy with them some people um especially men who i'm humiliating i just can get into you know into the stage where I'm just the queen and I'm saying whatever I want to say, so... <laughs> yes, but there are some cases where I am... I am shy. You're wild in bed. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> do I look like I'm wild in bed? Um, I guess yes. I guess I am. Anyways. I find it very interesting that you don't actually care what other people think. Mmm very interesting so i don't actually care what other people think um i do to some extent care but most of the time i don't care that's why i kind of like also started this channel you know like sometimes i'm, I'm worried like somebody i know is going to find this channel and they're gonna be like oh my god no, like i didn't know you do this kind of topics on youtube you know but then i'm just like you know they're not living my life like i'm living my life and there's Certain things I want to talk about, certain things I want to achieve, and um, certain things I like. So I'm, I'm just like better off owning this, you know? And um, yeah, but there are some cases where I do care what other people think. Like if I'm actually confronted with somebody and they're gonna be like, Yeah, Bella, like I saw this and I'm going, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like a little bit quiet and like ashamed. Not like ashamed, but like I will you know what i mean like i won't take it well like i will feel kind of like i should not be talking about this but i will still keep doing that you know but i will still care that w that they said that right like i will still like have that process in my mind but um eventually i will just do what's right for me you can be really assertive when you want something okay so this one depends uh, when i am with a submissive like when i'm um during a session when I'm humiliating somebody, yes, but like in real life, this is actually very hard for me. Like for example, when I am in a shop or something, and I want something and they don't deliver, and I'm I'm you know I'm supposed to be assertive about it, it's a problem for me. Like I feel like I'm still kind of a people pleaser in this way. Like I don't like to shout on people. I don't like to be assertive to like strangers. You know. I like to be assertive when I'm do doing a session, yes, but otherwise, this is still something I'm struggling with, so um, this one is like a 50-50. Definitely not a virgin. Um, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Being a mistress doesn't suit you because you look quite average girl with a rate 5 out of 10. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, so... Being a mistress doesn't suit me, yes, I have I've been getting that a lot, it doesn't suit me, but, you know, I think that's the beauty of it, like, I can be a mistress, you know, like, nobody's gonna say that about me, right, like, everybody's gonna think, like, oh, she's such a, such a cute uh, girl, like, she would never hurt anybody, but, like, you know, like, actually, I can do that, right, so, and actually, that is something that I enjoy doing, so, I mean, within the kink all right i don't i don't enjoy hurting people but like within the kink i like to uh dominate and stuff like that um i would never hurt anybody like without their you know permission i think that's like an advantage to be honest i would not want to look like this 
you know, hyper masculine girl, you know, is just not for me. So that's a compliment with a rate 5 out of 10. Um, I think I'm like in 9 out of 10, honestly. So that doesn't insult me at all. Anyways, next one. Um, you're a spoiled bride that loves to tease boys with her feet and laugh about it. Yes, I definitely love doing this. Single? Yes, I am single. You really love Irish men. Oh my god, actually, I was just thinking about it. Yes, Irish men are so hot. I'm telling you, they are, like, I'm sure that... I've met some Irish men, but most of them, they're really hot, especially because a lot of them have beards, and I'm really into beards, and also the accent is really cute, and they're all like very, and they're kind of ginger, I, I kind of like ginger men, not all of them, but especially the ones that have beard, I think uh, ginger beard is like really hot, okay, like, don't ask me, I think that's really hot, anyways, <laughs> yes. Um, it's not like I love Irish men, but they're hot, yes. A girl who likes to crush balls, obviously. Um, uh, that you love your beautiful body. Yeah, I do love my beautiful body. I think that my body is really nice. I don't have any complaints. Of course, there's always ways to improve, but I am not complaining. Sometimes I am, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm happy for what I got. You like to kick cherries. Well, I definitely like to stomp on some cherries. And cherry is like a emo emoji for, you know, breast. It's not really an emoji for balls. But if you're talking about balls, obviously I do. You're a lesbian. No, I'm not a lesbian. Even though I believe that women are prettier, um, I believe that women just... You know, like, whenever I scroll certain websites, I look for the women. Like, I don't look for the man, right? But I would never be with a woman. You know, I like I, I cannot imagine myself being in an actual relationship with a woman. I think that um, I'm straight, even though I do enjoy looking at women. You're stomping nuts while reading this. I wish. I wish, honestly. <laughs> You're a spoiled brat, but in a good way. Period. Yes, in a good way. It's a good thing, right? You don't actually sleep around. You only use your sexuality for money. You don't actually sleep around. That, that one is correct. I don't do that. Um, and I, I guess I guess this one, I guess this one is right. Even though I am not really like using it for it, I'm just like... Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's not how it sounds in this assumption that this person lure spied made. Um, but yeah, it's something that I use for my business. Very good at fooling people into believing that you're a certain type of person when you're not. Okay, this, no, like, this is completely wrong because I can't lie. Like, it's very hard for me to lie to people and to make them believe that I'm somebody who I'm not. I'm very bad at pretending. I have to be honest, I did try to pretend to be somebody I'm not in the past and it really didn't serve me. I felt really bad. Um, I can't do this. So this one is completely wrong. You're Russian. I'm not Russian. No. I like making assumptions, but the Bella from two or three years ago would be proud of proud of today's Bella. Yes, yes, she is absolutely, and I'm so excited what the Bella from two years from now is gonna look like because I'm sure that I am proud of her right now. Like I am already proud of her right now. You'll probably never go for a nerd like me, or maybe you will. Okay, so first of all, get some confidence. Or maybe you will probably never get some confidence because I actually do love nerds, you know, like nerd is my thing like i think nerds are really hot so yeah it's not like i only go for nerds but um i think nerds are very easy to approach because i am a nerd myself so um, we have a lot in common and they're very easy to approach so high maintenance i would say yes i i say i have like certain standards but it's not like I expect you to um, buy a Gucci bag for me on the first date, even though like on the second date you could, 
right? <laughs> You're as beautiful from inside as from outside, goddess. Absolutely. My heart is beautiful. My heart is made out of gold, honestly. <laughs> and my soul as well you are 180 degree different on youtube and twitter yes because my twitter is kind of i'm not sure guys if you're on my twitter if you're not it's b underscore gone bad um my twitter is mostly about uh findom and kind of like talking about beta guys and being like mean right like i'm really mean on my i'm trying to be mean <laughs> I mean, yes, on, on my Twitter, I am mean, but on my YouTube, I am just being myself, right? As I said, it's very hard for me to be somebody who I'm not, and I'm not somebody who I'm not on Twitter, it's still me, but yeah, I usually go there when I feel like, I, when I need to like humiliate or just like say something bad about um, betas, because there's a lot bad to say about them anyways, but I go on there when I feel like, um, when I have to like, Put that out you have dm full of unread high and hey hey and hi beautiful messages yes yes guys that's what i'm telling you if you're trying to approach me through my dms you will have to try a bit harder than this um i really recommend using my wish tender to <laughs> to uh, message me or my other websites because i'm not really active in my regular dms Money is more than you, is more than everything else. No, I don't think um, this is the case. I would, I would change it like you, money, everything else. I do like money a lot. So money holds like a really great place in my heart. But I still value myself more than money. Like I still always prefer myself over money. You're a feminist. No, I'm not a feminist at all. Um, I believe in the power of women though. But the power of women is very different from the power of men and feminism kind of tries to make uh women as powerful like powerful in the sense that men are right which i don't agree with uh women are powerful but in a completely different sense so in that way i am a feminist i believe in the power of women but not in the way that it's portrayed and i'm definitely not um you know how would i call it distrustful of men or like bashing men unless it's it's within the king within the king i like to do it but apart from that i believe that men are um great members of society like they have built everything around me so like you know i can't bash them <laughs> within the king i will you're actually very nice when not doming when doming and when not um I do enjoy nurturing dominance. It's one of my favorite kinks. Yes, I'm nice, I guess. <laughs> Psycho freak. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> um, maybe tell me guys what you think. You can take anything in the bedroom. Anything. Guys, this is my bedroom. I can take anything here. Like literally every anything you, you bring into my room is going to fit because my bedroom is like quite big, as you can see. So yes, I can I can literally take anything in my bedroom. You love to humiliate sissies. I love it. Yes, 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 yes. I love humiliating sissies. It's my favorite thing to do. One of my favorite um kinks because it's it's like so um, vibrant. There's like so many things you can do while hum humiliating sissies that you cannot do in other kinks. So it is one of my favorite forms of humiliation. You cannot kick that hard. Oh my god. <laughs> I try when I start that I try to not kick that hard just to test your pain tolerance but once I when I see like you have a good pain tolerance I will go for it harder definitely but I will test you definitely at first someone who always tells the truth I would say that yes I, I would say that I'm a pretty honest person at least like 90% of the time and when I when there is something that it's not true and I need to say it, like, you know what I mean? Like, i rather shut down than tell a lie, if that makes sense. So I don't, I don't like, go around and lie to people, but if I need to, when I need to, like, with all the truth, I just don't say anything. You own the world. 100%. 100%. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any more assumptions about me, comment them down in, um, in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and...
let me know what you think about this video and i will see you in the next one bye